Hello, my name is Alka Patel and I am the Chief of Responsible AI at the Joint AI Center at the Department of Defense, where our mission is to enable the adoption and implementation of artificial intelligence at scale across the DoD. We know that along with the opportunities that AI provides, the use of AI raises new challenges, including ethical ambiguities and risks. However, the department's commitment to ethics and safety is steadfast and enduring as further evidenced in the DOD AI strategy. And to that end, just one year ago today, the department announced its adoption of ethical principles for artificial intelligence. The five principles are responsible, equitable, traceable, reliable, and governable. And they apply to both combat and non-combat applications of AI. Two aspects I'd like to highlight for you is that first, these principles were conceptually grounded in the results of a 15-month study performed by the Defense Innovation Board, an independent advisory board that embarked in a transparent, inclusive, and robust process of consultation with leading AI experts in commercial industry, government, and academia, as well as with the American public, and included feedback and analysis with opportunities for public comment and input along the way. Second, it is important to recognize that these principles are not standalone value statements. These principles build on the US military's existing legal, ethical, and policy frameworks, including, for example, the law of war, existing international treaties, and long-standing norms and values, as well as the DOD's existing ethics and safety culture. At the announcement of the principles a year ago, General Shanahan, our former director of the JIG, alluded to the fact that coming up with the principles was the easy part. The hard part is putting these principles into practice. Operationalizing principles is a challenge that any enterprise, be it military or otherwise, faces. In the past year, we've embarked on that journey to operationalize the principles, which requires their application across the entire AI product lifecycle, from design to development to deployment and use. These principles are intended to prompt and promote continual engagement of AI ethics as a process distributed throughout the AI lifecycle, both interactively and iteratively. It's about having interdisciplinary teams. It's about these having these conversations early and often. It's about having the controls and the governance in place. And ultimately, it's about creating a new mindset and muscle memory around building and using technology responsibly, which engenders trust in the technologies for use by our warfighters. And while these principles are focused on the technology, we realize that to truly operationalize these principles, we need to take a holistic approach with a need to consider and evaluate organizational operating structures as well as organizational culture, which is why we focus on the broader concept of responsible AI. At the department, we advance responsible AI through the lens of people, processes, partnerships, and policy. It goes without saying that people, human capital, is the DOD's most important strategic asset, and so a focus on training and education. For processes, focusing on a systems and risk-based management a risk management based approach at the project level as well as the organizational level. Partnerships, collaborations with industry, academia, acquisition partners and allies are central to advancing responsible AI within the DoD and the broader defense ecosystem. And policy, the vehicle by which we codify implementation of responsible AI across the department. And as we reflect over the past year, I'd like to highlight a few examples of our efforts to advance responsible AI. So with respect to people and training and education, in addition to a responsible AI champions pilot program at the Jake last summer, we focused on the DOD workforce AI education strategy that was released in the fall as well. It's directed to building an AI ready workforce. The strategy explicitly requires responsible AI training for each and every role and archetype. The learning modules, of course, will be customized, varying in breadth and depth based on the functions of each role. With respect to acquisition, we are working on procurement process modifications to incorporate not only the AI ethics principles, but instantiations thereof within Jake RFIs and RFP, RFPs and other contracting vehicles. At the end of last year, the Jake also hosted a workshop with the World Economic Forum to discuss responsible AI selection criteria, evaluation metrics, 
as well as explore the concept of contractual terms for procurement. In addition, we've been engaging with our allies. In September, it marked the inaugural convening of the AI Partnership for Defense, hosted by the Jake, with like-minded military and defense forces with an initial group of 13 nations. The partnership aims to promote the responsible design, development, and use of AI by engaging in coordination and collaboration on AI technologies, governance, and policy to drive AI-enabled interoperability. As we pivot to Jake 2.0 under the leadership of General Groen, our renewed focus will be to enable the rest of the department in their efforts to advance responsible AI. On the acquisition side, our currently issued t and &E RFI and our soon to be released data readiness RFI vehicles are going to be significant ways in which we can bring the principles to life. The services re requested under both of these vehicles speak to many of the principles as we ensure that AI capabilities that we build are safe, secure, reliable, and robust. Additionally, Tradewind, another acquisition effort, will allow us to engage not only with partners who provide commercial services, but also entities that provide subject matter expertise in ethics and responsible AI, as well as associated tools and frameworks, thereby allowing for collaboration, which can be leveraged across the Department of Defense. I would also be remiss if I did not mention the Joint Common Foundation, where we are focusing on integrating tools and corresponding assessment points into the DevSecOps environment, as well as into the architecture pipeline. The integration, as well as the ability to automate some of our efforts will play not only a critical role in the adoption and use of the tools, but also in the scaling in a uniform and consistent manner across the department. We recognize that we are at the beginning of this journey and are continuing learning, but the stakes cannot be higher and the urgency cannot be understated, especially in view of our mission to ensure our nation's security. Our efforts will endure and continue on.